welcome back to online class grade level english hope you have completed a uh, learning first two lessons uh, the test also is given from one word and uh, 50 mark questions hope you have done it well now let us move on to the third unit prose forgetting by robert lent okay so this a uh, lesson is very interesting and very humorous too uh, robert lent has uh, written all his writings everything very humorous and it is easy for the uh, readers to understand now let us move on to the lesson before that let me ask you some question do you uh, have the experience of uh, losting some things while you are traveling hope you might have lost many things uh, while you are traveling right you have missed it for, you might have forgot to take the things what you have bought with you okay so tell me some uh, things which you have lost while traveling most probably umbrella okay or books any other okay so what you will do you will be giving to some person to hold it and uh, you might have missed it while you are get down in you might forget that you have given to the person so that you are forgetting right so here also in this lesson here he wanted to tell the humans how they often forgets what are the things they forgets so forgetting is a lot of uh, funny right so we will be laughing later so that moment we will have some uh, 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 sad but later what we will do we will feel uh, more happy of telling these things right so here also the writer what he is doing he is uh, going to tell you how he uh, sees the people what are the things they forgets and what the things they remember he is going to distinguish and tell you and all these things after telling he is going to give you one example of a person a man who forgets uh, uh, his own uh, of, uh, baby when he is traveling okay so that is a very funny one let us let me read and tell you about the writer about the author and then we will move into the lesson by reading each line okay so hope you have understood what is the gist of the story in this uh, lesson okay let us move on take your textbook take unit 3 page number 70 hope uh, you have uh, took the page uh, 70 about the author okay go for uh, listening robert wilson lynn born in 1879 died in 1949 an irish writer is one of the greatest essays of the 20th century so he was born in the place of uh, uh, balfast that is in united kingdom he was born in the year 1879 april 20 and died in 6 october hampshire london united kingdom so he is the one of the greatest essayist and also essays in the 20th century and he began his career as a journalist he penned numerous articles for the leading newspaper and magazines like daily news the new statements and nations so penned means writing so the person who started writing everything for what reason he has started to put it in the article so many uh, writers they will be writing and they will be initially they will be putting in the articles so later it will be published in the newspapers like that it will be going on and they will be published much okay so here also what he has penned it the enormous of uh, uh, articles and which are leading newspaper what are the newspaper that is daily news the new statesman and nation these all the things he has put his articles he wrote under the pseudonym y1 pseudonym is a, a writer for writing they will have another one name okay they won't use their own uh, name they will have another one name that is called pseudonym so here the writer is using another one name y1 okay y y s is called wise w i s c wise so he is using this y1 in the statesman the new statesman so in that article he started to write his article in the pseudonym y y his essays cover a wide range of simple and interesting topics 
they are humorous delightful ironical and satirical so his uh, range is very simple and uh, interesting topics he will be writing it will be very humorous it will be very delightful and it will be very satirical too and robert lind was awarded with the honorary literary doctorate by queens university that is in belfast in 1947 so he got a literary uh, honorary uh, honorable uh, literary uh, from the doctorate by which university queens university in which year 1947 he was also honored by the royal society of literature with a silver medal and by the the, the sunday times with a gold medal for bales letters so for that silver medal also he has received and for the sunday times he got the gold medal also for which article that is a bales letters in his essay forgetting robert lin takes a humorous look at the nature and efforts of forgetfulness so robert lin already i told you that he has written his this writing this essay as a very humorous one regarding to the natures of uh, nature we have a uh, nature what is that forgetfulness is our nature right we cannot uh, we have not learned and we have bought it it is our nature so that nature how humorously he has bought it only is that in this essay so i hope you have understood about uh, uh, robert wilson lay let me tell you about one more information about robert uh, his spouse name is sylvia dryburst and uh, works he has written many works of only few let me tell you the blue line is one of his works selected essay is another works the little angel why why anthology of essays this all his some uh, writings okay so now let me move on to the warm up take your pages uh, take your page 66 forgetting okay so take the page 66 and go for reading the warm up how forgetful are you so you can put this question to you and think that how forgetful you are so we are all forgetful at times and would like to find ways of improving our memories so many many ways we used to uh, improve our memories what are the ways you will be using for improving your memories some hints you will be writing or uh, some alarm you will be keeping this uh, you have to remember these all things yeah then any other you'll be eating some uh, uh, greens uh, that is uh, which is uh, which you can keep your memory very well okay so like this you'll be having lot of uh, methods to improve your memory okay so here they are going to check your memory that is uh, in the a b c it is given to find out your memory what are the things you are going to keep it in your memory let me tell you how sharp is your memory okay they are going to check how sharp your memory is Okay, are you interested in uh, attending this? Yes. Okay. Take this five-minute memory test. So this will take five minutes memory test. The teacher will read out a series of thirty words one by one. Some of them will be repeated. Whenever you hear your word for the first time, write N for new in the corresponding box. And when you hear the re a repeated word, write R. After completing this task, check your results. compare it with your friends and see where you stand so this is a i'm not going to give you now but just you have to try ask your parents or somebody to read out some uh, uh, 30 words then ask them to put you can put uh, if it is a new word right here yeah. if it is a repeated word right r okay so you can check how many words you remember by this uh, okay so next one also we'll move so this all the uh, things it is uh, generally you'll be uh, you can read it and understand and again let me read it ha have, have you ever lost or misplaced anything of value due to forgetfulness at times instances of forgetfulness may land as in a tight spot or in a difficult situation therefore we need to find ways to remember what we have to do or carry with us that we can sorry one way is to make a mental checklist that we can verify before starting any activity okay next one now discuss with your partner and think of some practical ideas to overcome forgetfulness in a way in your day to day activities so what are the things practical ideas you can do setting an alarm is given here making notes on your pad you can write you can write your own uh, uh, 
ideas what you used to do it so one is uh, let i'm giving the hints up you'll be writing in your notepad or packing things a day in advance the previous day itself you'll be packing things and you'll uh, you'll keep it keeping medicines of uh, daily use in your travel bag this is all the things you'll be making getting ready because you'll forget so you'll be making it uh, getting ready checking electrical points before closing door so all the things whether all in your house the all the electrical items are uh, in a proper way we will be checking and then you will be moving taking a pocket diary with uh, uh, important address which is needed for you that everything in your pocket diary you will take it out so this is all many other things you can write your own okay the next one discuss and share your views with the class on the following is forgetfulness a result of carelessness or preoccupation so whether your forgetfulness is a uh, carelessness of yourself so because of your carelessness you kept it some things and you are moving or not so you can have your discussion there okay now let me move on to the next uh, lesson that is a paragraph now read the humorous essay forgetting by robert lane and his analysis of the fundamental reason for forgetfulness in humans so here this is a humorous essay forgetting by robert lane and here he is going to analyze that uh, uh, fundamental reason for forgetfulness what is the reason for forgetfulness what do you think of the forgetfulness why you are forgetting some things tell me okay so few may tell because i don't have much interest on uh, uh, that uh, because of i don't have much interest in studies i often forget the question answers i often forget the paragraph because i don't have much interest okay that may be any other reason okay guess it okay now we are going to see in this lesson already i told you the gist what is that forgetfulness the human where he forgets what are the things he forgets what are the things he remembers this we are going to see okay so then last we are going to see one example also a humorous example also we are going to see okay so now take a book that is the less paragraph starts with a list of articles lost by railway travelers and now on sale at a great london station has been published and many people who read it have been astonished at the absent minus of their fellows so here it is the article it is given that the railway travelers it is in the place of london station that is a travelers where the people used to move off in that place that is a, a article what is that article it is published means the people what are the things they missed it everything it is published in the article so many people by seeing the article they are very much surprised so even this the people will be uh, missing or not like that they have a lot of surprise that is if statistical records were available on the subject however i doubt whether it would be found that absent minus is common so that statistical uh, is, uh, list is given that people has uh, missed these all the things like that it is given but it is also very wonderful for us because the absent minus of your common people is a very really great thing he felt it is the efficiency rather than the inefficiency of human memory that compels my wonder so why he is very much wonder means he is what uh, wonder rather than the efficiency efficiency means ability of the human memory that compels with the inefficiency and inefficiency means inability so what makes the people they are having all people are very ability they have the good remembrance but what makes them to forget these things okay so what makes i told you maybe loss of, less of uh, interest in that okay so now so modern man remembers even telephone numbers so how many of you remember your telephone numbers do you remember your telephone number yeah your parents number or your uh, neighbors any one or two numbers you may have but in the olden days when the mobile came uh, mobile uh, before the mobile arrived so what is that people used to memorize lot of mo uh, phone numbers right so every phone numbers they will have in their mind here so this uh, person modern man remembers even a telephone number he remembers the addresses of his friends so where he lives your friends where he lives you know the place and address everything you know he remembers he remembers the dates of good vintages so vintages means it is a uh, wine yeah, uh, wine which is having a high quality wine this wine is 
uh, uh, it is made only in a particular year that is in 1999 it is made okay so this particular year this wine is made so that is called vintage so he is telling that even when the vintage is uh, prepared everything we people remembers very well so these are the things common thing what the people is doing they are able to remember it well so i hope you have understood the first paragraph so what is this when the people is traveling they have seen a list of articles what is that what are the things they forget and they have left out is that and what the people remembers it is says about mobile number address of their friends and good vintages they remembers about the dates of good vintages vintages means a wine that is made in a particular year clear so the first paragraph are you clear okay so now let me move on to the second paragraph he remembers appointments for lunch and dinner so if your friend is inviting you for a lunch or dinner what you will do you will be remembering that or you will forget it and you will never move for that yes you will surely you will be able to remember that you will never miss that dinner or lunch appointment is given to you right so that is that the people what is they remembers that date of uh, appointment of lunch and dinner his memory is crowded with the names of actors and actresses and cricketers and footballers and murderers so everyone you know many actors actor and actress right you know cricketers you know many murderers they are famous persons you know uh, football players you know so this is all the things you cannot forget you, you have a great list of them so it it will not able to forget it so whenever you see the picture of the persons you are able to find them so it, it is uh, the memory how it is crowded it is crowded with cricketers football players and uh, murderers and uh, actor actress all these things it is crowded he can tell you what the weather was like in long past august and the name of the provincial hotel at which he had a wild meal during the summer so you can easily find tell that uh, in the month of december what climate uh, uh, you will get when i am asking you can tell it, it it will be very chill it will be very cold you can say right so like that whenever it is asked to you with the long past august what the season was season is going to come like that if it is asked also the people can remember what it will be and they also remember the last uh, summer season you had a wild meal wild meal means bad meal it is not at all good so uh, last summer you, know, you might have had your food what food did you had if i ask can you tell that is not the good one or the it is not the famous one bad meal you had so do you, can you remember that yes you can remember that term. so that also the people can remember his telling so one is about the season and another one is about the meal they had in the last summer in his ordinary life again he remembers almost everything that he is expected to remember so in the ordinary life what he is uh, whatever he is expected to have that everything he remembers he is not able to forget that how many men in all london forget a single item of their clothing when dressing in the morning so here it says about london okay you can think of yourself whenever you are getting ready to school or somewhere when you will you forget any of your dressings a single item even you will never forget in your dressings right so if it is um, coat is needed you will wear the coat if tie is needed you will wear that you will never forget even a single tie even right shoe or if you have wanted to wear socks you will wear you will never forget even a single item in your dressing right so here the london people they have here it is mentions about london forget a single item of their clothing when dressing in the morning even a single item they will never forget and not one in 100 so even in among 100 people one person even will never forget about the dressings perhaps not one in 10000 even in the 10000 persons even one person even will not be that to forget the about the dressings how many of them forget to shut the front door when leaving the house they have the experience of shutting the door at your house your parents are moving to a uh, job and if you are supposed to close the door and come out to school whether you will be closing or shutting the door and come back yes surely you will be closing and you will take the key with you right so he is asking to the people how many of you will be able to 
forgot to shut the doors. Is there any persons will be leaving as it is and they will be coming? Very rare. Okay. Scarcely. Scarcely means little, little more. And so it goes on through the day. So the day through day to day life, what are the activities you have? So small, small activities you will never have forgot. And almost everybody remembering to do the right things at the right moment till it is time to go to bed. So everybody you are doing small, small activities till that uh, when you are going to the bed, till that what you are doing, right things you are doing at the correct time. And then the ordinary man Sheldon forgets. Ordinary man Sheldon means rarely, occasionally he forgets to turn off the lights before going upstairs. So what he is saying? So if you wanted to go to upstairs, you will be whether you will be turning off the uh, lights, everything and go. Rarely small, rarely persons. Sheldon, that is a rarely persons will forget to uh, uh, switch off the light, everything and they will be going to the upstairs. Okay. So now the second paragraph also it's complete. So second paragraph he says about the mind is crowded with actor, actress, um, and uh, cricketers, footballers, and murderers. These all the things it is. Uh, uh, it is crowded. Even a single item in your dressings you will never miss it. You will remember everything perfectly. And rarely some people will um, uh, rarely some people will forget to switch off their light when they are going to upstairs. Okay. So, this is all the points, it is there in the second paragraph, okay. So, before moving to the uh, third paragraph, uh, I hope uh, the time is enough. Uh, let me conclude here. The remaining part, we will move on to the next video, okay. Thank you students. Hope you have understood. Read the lesson once again, okay. Thank you.